Mountain bikes need a bit of looking after, especially if you're hard on your bike. And I think you should definitely learn to look after it yourself because otherwise it's gonna cost you money to take it to the bike shop. But also, bike shops can be really busy, so you might not get it fixed when you need to ride it. So with the help of some GMBN tech videos to learn uh, and with the right tools, you should be able to do it yourself. So here are 10 essential tools you'll need to look after your bike. Number one is the work stand, and it's gonna seem like an expensive one to buy straight out, and one that might not be completely essential, but when you've worked on your own bike and repaired it and looked after it for a long time, you realize that it's so hard to do without a proper work stand. There's a few different options. There are the sort of ones that can fold down and you can take with you. So if you're into racing or you travel a lot, they can be really helpful. Or ones that you bolt to the wall. Or alternative, you might be able to find somewhere in your garage where you can hook the seat of your bike. But anywhere where you can suspend your bike, it's gonna make it much easier to work on. A track pump. So. You're gonna probably need a mobile pump as well, so a small mini pump that you can carry with you sometimes on rides, but those can be a pain, especially if you're changing tires or you need to do a lot of pumping. Then it really does come down to a track pump. They're just the best for the job. They pump your tires up super quick. If you've got tubeless tires, they give you enough force to sort of pump it hard enough to pop that bead onto the rim so you seal that tire. So it really is a worthwhile investment. Again, probably not the cheapest tool you're gonna buy, but it's one that should last you a long time. And a lot of these have replaceable parts as well. So occasionally, after years of use, you might find that the, the hose gets a bit of a kink in it, or eventually it'll uh, get a slice. So try and buy one where you can replace the parts, then you can keep it for ages. Allen keys, definitely the most common tools you're gonna to use. So there's loads of different options for these. I've found these multi-tool ones are the most useful. They're super nice to work with, surprisingly. Some multi-tools are kind of fiddly, but normally the Allen key ones are just really useful. Of course, you can buy single ones as well. But again, with most tools, it's worth spending a little bit. If you get the cheapest ones, or even the ones that come free with the front of the magazine, they can be good for emergencies, but they're not the best materials and you'll find that they can damage the bolts, even round the bolts you're working on. So make sure you get a nice set of Allen keys. Again, this should last you a lifetime. You are gonna want probably a two mil up to an eight mil, even occasionally you might need a 10, but two, two and a half, three, four, five, six, and eight are the most common. Numbers three and four are definitely bike specialist tools, so they work together as well. So a cassette tool, this will slide into your cassette to turn it either way, either wind it off or wind it on, so you need one of those specific. Uh, and also you're gonna need a chain whip. So this is basically a bar with a bit of chain, and this is gonna hold your cassette so it doesn't spin back on the freewheel when it comes to undoing your cassette. Uh, we've seen people bodge these on Hacks and Bodges on Dirt Shed and make their own using an old chain and a bar. So you can do that, but it's definitely worth having. Also, you sort of need another multi-use tool, uh, the good old adjustable spanner. You shouldn't really be using these too much on your bike because they're not the most accurate tools, but when it comes to using a cassette tool, there's nothing better than just a simple adjustable spanner. Torx keys, again, a bit like the Allen keys, you can get these in uh, sort of options with multi-tool, so there's loads of different options. The most common one is a T25. So this, for a lot of SRAM uh, brake levers to tighten them up on the bar, for your disc brake bolts, all T25. Like I said, you can have options, because some bikes have tiny little Torx, maybe for taking the bleed screw off the brakes, but the most common, and the one you're definitely gonna need, is a T25. tool that I try not to use, but I do have, is tire levers. So ideally, you can try and do this with your thumbs. Make sure your tire bead, when you're taking off or putting on tires, is pushed right into the middle of the rim. That loosens it all off. And sometimes you can just sort of pull on the tire to get the bead over the rim and take the tire off. 
but occasionally the tire is too tight and you will definitely need to rely on some of these. Uh, plastic are the best. Again, some of these, the cheaper ones can break if you're trying to force them. Some of these have that nice little spoke hook on them as well. So you stick one in, hook it over the spoke, freeze your hands up to get the next one in. And by the time you've got two of them in, you should be able to pop that bead off. Sometimes you might need a metal one as a backup, but I really try not to use these ones. A chain breaker. So this is an essential. If you ever snap your chain, then you're probably gonna have to use this to fix it back together, or sometimes you use it to take out the broken link and then to fit some of those power links in. Also, if you need to replace your drivetrain, your chain's gonna come and it will be too long, so they make them nice and long to fit any bike. You're more than likely gonna have to shorten that chain, so this is the tool you're gonna need for replacing your chain. Another really good investment, I think, is a decent set of cable cutters. Uh, I've had the same set for like 20 years now, so most bikes have gear cables and a dropper post cable. And gear cables, I tend to replace fairly regularly because after a while, especially riding in the UK, of mud and dirt getting in there, the friction will make your gear changing feel rubbish. It'd be really slow, so super easy. Just stick a new inner cable in. And again, a bit like a chain, they'll come way too long. So rather than try and wrap it around, uh, you're never gonna get a neat finish. So you'll cut them off with this and stick a cable end on, which you've got a nice little crimp for there. And as much as you can try and do this with a set of side cutters or pliers, most of the time they're not sharp enough or powerful enough and they will just sort of bite through some of the cable and leave lots of other messy ends so they don't really work. Cable cutters will snip through super easy and give you a nice clean finish. Not really a tool as such, but when it comes to properly looking after your bike, you're going to need some products. So I guess the essentials here are Chain lube, obviously you need something to keep your chain nice and lubed. Once you've cleaned the bike, try and make sure your chain is super dry and clean, then lube it and it's gonna give you really nice shifting and last forever. Uh, also, I think disc brake cleaner, if you're looking after your bike properly, occasionally that's gonna mean uh, bleeding your brakes, swapping brake pads, and you really need some of this stuff. It's basically a solvent that will get rid of any of that oil off your bike. And grease, I think that's the last essential when it comes to fitting new parts, putting this on bolts, greasing bearings, properly looking after your bike, get some bike grease. You may need some of this carbon gripper if you've got carbon parts like a seat post or bars on your bike. You simply put a, this around the clamping area to make sure there's enough friction to hold that product properly. Something I don't use very often. Bonus tools that are very nice to have. Maybe not essentials, but like I say, good to have. Bottom bracket tool. Bottom brackets tend to last quite a long time now. Some, it's one of those things you might want the bike shop to do because you're going to need to order the right part anyway. But if you want to do it yourself, then you're going to need one of these. And they do come in different options depending on which BB you've got, whether it's press fit or whatever screw in. So check out what you might want. Bleed kit, I definitely have a few of these for different types of brakes, Shimano, SRAM, Trick stuff, uh, all kind of different, so depending on your bike. Like I said, if you're, if you're looking after your brakes, sometimes you're gonna wanna flush through some new uh, fluid, be it mineral oil or dot, depends what it is, and you can need corresponding fluid and the bleed kit for your bike, but something definitely worth having. Finally, now this is kind of controversial. Some people might think this is essential. I don't. So a torque wrench. You're going to want to uh, get your bolts torqued up. It's definitely something I did in the early day, days of looking after my bike is over tightening bolts and rounding them off, uh, munching up all the thread. So the most common again, here we go, we've got four, five and a six Newton meters that is. So you can change the bits on here. This one's a four, change the bit for whatever it needs. Most bike parts like stems will have a little bit of print on the side and it'll tell you how many newton meters you need to tighten to. And when you tighten it so much, up to four newton meters, it'll then spin, so you don't go any tighter than that. If you've looked after your bike for a while, you kind of get the feel for it and you'll know how tight bolts need to be, but this is the only way to get really accurate results. All right, there's what I think are the essential tools you need to look after your bike. You probably need other things like rags and washing brushes as well, but these are the tools that you really definitely need. 
I use old t-shirts for rags anyway. Uh, let us know if you'd love to look after your bike down below. And if there's anything you need to learn, check out GMBN Tech. There's loads of essential skills on that channel. Thumbs up if you love looking after your bike.